I've been farming all my life with my father and my grandfather. Number one is to always leave the land in a better shape than you've had it. So moving through the generations, you always try and improve it. Animal welfare is the number one key to work out how we can always do the best things by the animals. And looking after the environment and the land and the soil, we use all our own organic material out of the feedlot and spread it over the paddocks and to keep all the organic matter up to the highest level we possibly can. It's a very unconscious thing we do as farmers, I think. We're always thinking about the environment day in, day out, seven days a week. We always keep up with as much as we can with the technology and new methods of trying to improve and gain out of new products in feedlot situations or out on in pastures. With CH4, trialling it and doing the first lot of it is very exciting for our business and the feedlotting industry to where it could go in the future. It is tough to make a living as a farmer. So every little bit that we can do to provide a product that helps farmers improve their bottom line, that's a win for the farmer, it's a win for us, and it's a win for the environment. There are a million different natural products out there and tens of thousands of seaweeds, but Asparagopsis has unique properties in that some of the compounds within Asparagopsis prevent methanogenesis in the rumen of ruminants such as cattle and sheep and deer and other ruminant animals. That methane then is not burped out into the atmosphere as the cow or other ruminant eats. It's maintained in, within the animal and the animal can use that for other purposes. It's native to these Southern Australian and New Zealand coastlines. We grow it under controlled conditions on land, in land-based facilities. We get higher productivity. We can use a lot less land, a lot less water, and have much less impact. We were founded in December of 2018, really with the initial mission to impact global climate change at scale with urgency. Today, we can dimension that a little better. We believe we'll be able to reach gigaton reductions in greenhouse gases by 2030. Methane's really become more important in the last couple of years since the IPCC announced in 2021 that it was really one of the only ways for us to achieve total greenhouse gas reductions on the planet by 2030. And that's our goal, to contribute dramatically and significantly to that. They ate the product very well and they didn't go leaving it behind or anything like that. And the weight gains were very good to go with it. They're eating less and putting the same weight on. The Asparagopnus increases the absorption of the grain quicker and turns it into meat. And that's a win-win for us, which is very, very good. Because the Asparagopnus reduces the methane up to 90%, the consumers are very interested in that. It's a very ethical meat produced and very good for the environment. Some of the benefits of using asparagopsis on farm, on top of the benefits, of course, of 90% reduction in methane output, is that methane then that carbon and hydrogen is available then for the animal to use for more production, more production of protein, of beef or of milk, or feed efficiencies where less feed needs to be used for the same amount of output. The last fabulous benefit for the farmer is there's good underlying consumer demand. Consumers want climate-friendly beef. So when consumers want it, the retailers want it, and when the retailers want it, the farmers can benefit with improved farm gate pricing. There's not a farmer that doesn't wake up every single day and think, what can I do today to improve the husbandry of the animals? What can I do today to improve the economics of the farm? We can help that. So every conversation we have with farmers, they're like, oh, when can we get some? Methane Tamer is really the culmination of four years of work for us. It's really the ability to understand and be able to grow in aquaculture at scale a particular unique red seaweed that contains a series of bioactives that when grown and then processed properly and then formulated can have a significant and dramatic effect with no other side effects, no changes in the taste, the texture, the quality of the meat or the milk. It's an incredible benefit to farmers. There's an economic benefit to those farmers. They're able to get a return back on the investment to use it and that's driven by their ability to get a higher price for low carbon beef or low carbon milk. Uh, those cows are more efficient, 
they're able to have a cost savings on feed, and then there's the reduction in carbon, carbon equivalents and the value of those. It's a net positive for the farmer, it's a net positive for everyone involved. The future of farming is pretty exciting with all the latest technologies and especially things like asparagopus. Leaving the country in a better place for the next generation, I'm going to be very proud of what I hand over to my three boys down the track and for generations to come.